Hey everybody, Neil and Sir Isaac Nguyen here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder here to give you a quick tutorial and overview of the gravity screen on slash off application which uses, utilizes proximity and gravity sensors to turn your screen on and off. Alright, so as most of you can already assume, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the application. There's actually two versions. There's a free version and a pro version. I'll get into some of the perks of having the pro version a little bit later in the video, but you're just going to want to find the free version and install it. Okay, so you've opened the application, and actually before you open it, um, a window's going to pop up, a device administrator, asking if you want to activate it, and obviously, you're going to want to activate it. So from here, I'm going to go through some of the major um, options in the settings. For a more uh, detailed description, you can actually check out the article. Um, Alright, so the first major option is Pocket Sensor, which aka for tablet users would be, I don't know, Bag Sensor, because unless you got super baggy ass pants, I don't think your tablet fits. But let's assume you don't have super baggy pants and you have your phone in your bag. Um, basically, it just registers a certain angle that your phone's in when it's typically in your phone slash bag and it will activate the application to dim your screen. Um, with the pro version, I think you can actually, yeah, on the pro version, it's a little bit more precise. But here you can actually set the angle to where you want it. Um, I think it's already uh, recommended for 60 degrees but I mean it's convenient if you have your phone in your bag and it's pretty useful alright so the next one table sensor which is probably the biggest one with a tablet you can actually set the degrees only up to 10 on the regular version on the pro version it's a little more precise but I don't know why you would have it at this angle or a 90 degree angle um, but I think the threshold is 10 anything below that it'll realize that it's laying down and it'll dim the screen laying face up so that one's really convenient that's one of the major ones you should look at the next main setting option is turn screen on by motion uh... basically this just registers the that your device is in motion say it's in your hand it won't turn off even if it's at 10 degrees because it's in motion and you're using it and um, the timeout option is actually the minutes right here basically means your phone's been dimmed or the screen's been turned off for 10 minutes after 10 minutes it's not going to be able to be uh, woken up by movement which is convenient when your phone's in your bag and it's been dimmed and you don't want it to just turn on because you're walking around also important you can uh, change the sensitivity. It's uh, recommended that you have a low sensitivity just so you don't keep actually accidentally, you know, like bumping into your phone or it accidentally uh, moves. Sorry, not your phone, your device. And it moves and it turns on. You don't want that to happen all the time. So you want to set it kind of um, kind of low. Um, we went on by motion. Um, some other little options is vibration every time your screen turns off it's just gonna vibrate letting you know headphone support that one's really important um, an example I have is um, if I don't have this checked and I'm using my headphones to look at a YouTube video and I'm laying my tablet down it'll actually dim the screen and shut your audio off if you check this on it'll use the proxy sensors to realize that you're using it and even when you're laying it flat and it's not active to not turn it off. So that one's convenient if you're using your headphones a lot. Um, disable lock screen. I actually use this because I don't have an issue with security, but if you do, I, would, I wouldn't turn it on. Uh, basically, when your screen turns off and you pick it up to use it again, you don't have to swipe or put in your code every time. Um, let's go to the last one. Start at boot. This basically means that the application will automatically run every time you restart your phone so basically it's going to be an active application unless you set that otherwise on the bottom right corner there's the uninstall button which is convenient and it completely uninstalls the app you don't have to worry about that um, I saved this one for last notification because I find it to be the most convenient um, alright so I'm using my tablet 
and I don't want it to dim when I'm not using it. So I just go up here to the notification. It'll put a permanent, permanent like little option in your notification bar that you can pause it. So if I'm using my tablet and it's laying down a lot, but I don't want it to dim, you just do this and it'll pause it and not dim your screen. Um, so that's basically it for the app. Again, uh, take a look at the article to get a little, a little bit more details and I go over some of the more other uh, extensive options. Um, remember to put a comment, remember to subscribe if you want, and remember to enjoy your gravity screen lock. And thank you Sir Isaac Nguyen for that.